welcome back. I decided that I was going to do what I'm calling a mini mall haul for you. I've been doing some random, random shopping here and there over the past couple of weeks, few weeks, maybe four weeks or so. Um, and instead of doing just separate hauls, I kind of just wanted to throw it all together. And hopefully um, I'll be able to try on the pieces that I bought and show you on camera at the same time as I'm talking about them. We'll see. It depends on whether or not I lose daylight before I get this video done. So I went to a couple of places. I have stuff from Sephora, BB, Express, Loft, Altered State, and Banana Republic. And it's all just kind of throne sitting here beside me and I just want to kind of walk through it. So um, to start though, I want to talk about a bag that I recently got. So this is um, from Michael Kors. I cannot remember the name right now, but I will look for it and put it in the description bar down below. Um, I bought this exact same bag, but the larger size in June. And my intention was to buy it and use it for my computer and travel with it. But the thing that I love about this bag is the structure. Like, just holding it from the bottom, it stands up on its own. And once I started using it with my computer in it, it totally compromised the structure. And that's something that I loved about it so much. So I went back to Michael Kors and um, Maylee Ann, who is actually a friend of my sister's, helped me out. Um, and allowed me to trade it in for one size down. And she said that this one doesn't have the problem of breaking the structure because it's more dense because it's smaller. So I traded this bag out and I am in love with it. It has two zippers on either edge right here. And then you open it up and if you peek in, it's super empty right now because I literally just got it the other day. But it has a zipper on the inside, some pockets, and then, um, yeah, just big storage. So I just wanted to mention this because it is something I got recently, although I didn't repurchase it. I did get it recently, so I just wanted to talk about it. Okay, so moving on to clothes. If you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, you might have seen this jumpsuit. I got this from BB. It's a beautiful emerald green and it has these diamond cutouts in the back. And I actually specifically bought it for um, one of our friend's weddings. He got married at the beginning of the month. And I wanted something that I could wear to a wedding, but also for holidays later. I'm considering wearing this for our Stitch Fix holiday party coming up in December. But I just love the way it fit. It was effortless, easy to throw on. And I know I'll get a lot of use out of it because it's good material. It's got these really wide legs at the bottom. Like I said, I'm hoping I can try everything on so that I can just show you what it looks like. So that is my one purchase from BB. It's not normally a store that I go into. It's just not really my style. It's typically more glitzy and glamorous than I consider myself. So um, I typically don't shop there, but I popped my head in for a little bit and found that and it was the perfect find for what I was needing. So um, from experience, I got a couple of things y'all know from my fall favorites um, tag that I'm obsessed with flannels and button downs this time of year so I of course had to get another one please ignore how wrinkled some of these clothes are I've literally been wearing these and so these came out of the hamper um, so anyways this one I love because it has the double placket right here so it actually covers up the buttons which is just nice and seamless and then has the two pockets on the front and it's super soft. You can't have a flannel that's not super soft. I also got this ivory sweater from Express. Again, wrinkled, sorry. Um, but I love the bottom hem. It's kind of rounded at the bottom and it's got this higher slit going up the side. So it's perfect to wear with leggings. I've worn it with my leather leggings. I've worn it with jeans. And it's just a good sweater to have. It's also three quarter length. So if you're somewhere hot, then it's still a good thing to have for fall so you can pretend. Okay, next thing is from Loft. And again, this isn't a really, really a store that I shop at all that often. Um, Ann Taylor Loft carries a lot of petite sizing and I know they're really good for petites. And I'm petite in size, but not in stature. So I don't always have good luck shopping there, but I mentioned recently that I'm really into eggplants for 
fall and winter and I saw this sweater and it has this knit detailing on the arms where it's kind of it's kind of see-through. When I'm wearing it, you can see my skin. And I just thought it was a simple, basic sweater that I really liked the fit of, so I had to get it. Okay, so let's see. Altered State, that's what's next. Actually, let me talk about what I'm wearing right now. This is from Altered State, and it's this big, oversized, boyfriend-looking sweater, but then the back has this really pretty, like, V cutout. Um, again, super basic. It's long enough that I can wear it as a sweater dress or if I want to wear it over leggings or skinnies, then I can. So I love this. I live in chunky sweaters in the fall and winter because I'm always cold. I think I've mentioned that before too. Another sweater that I got from Altered State is this one. And again, it has this kind of holy detail right here and right by the shoulders, but then in the back, it has the zipper detail and it actually zips from the top and it zips from the bottom. So the last time I wore it, I wore it as like a split back sweater, but you can also zip it all the way down and just wear it completely closed and have some interesting detailing on the back. So that's that. Another plaid flannel style shirt from Altered State. This one's really cool though because it's oversized, kind of like your boyfriend or hubby shirt. And then in the back, it has the split back detailing, which is on trend right now all over the place. And even when it gets cold, I feel like I could wear it with a cami underneath and be totally fine. So this is one of my favorite recent purchases. Uh, at first, I was really unsure about it, but I've worn it a few times and I am obsessed. It's this fuzzy vest. And it's actually duster length and it has pockets. That is perfect for this time of year when I'm freezing my butt off. My hands always get cold first. So I've been layering this over everything that I can. It's only been, I think the coldest day we've had is like 50 degrees here in Columbia, but I wore it over a flannel anyway and it was awesome. So I will get a lot of use out of this over the fall and winter. Let's see. I'm gonna do the rest of the clothes before I hop into Sephora. So I popped into Banana Republic um, over the weekend and it's not a store that I shop at. It's very high priced for what I'm looking for, I guess. I love their clothes, it's just very expensive to me. Um, but I had a $25 gift card from a student when I was teaching, like my first year teaching. So I've had it, I guess like three years now and I just never used it. So I finally thought about it, popped into Banana Republic and checked out their sale items. And I found this really cute graphic sweatshirt. It says knockout on it and it's this dark, dark green, not really a forest green, but just a dark green and super comfy. And then I also found a gorgeous blouse. If you know anything about Columbia, South Carolina, you know that we are the Gamecocks and we are garnet and black. So this is perfect for tailgating game season, but also just for any time that I want to dress up. It's really pretty and feminine, tailored, but simple and easy as well. I don't feel like I have to dress this up with accessories at all. Okie dokie. I'm going to move on to Sephora. They have their sale or they started their VIB Rouge sale, Rouge sale and then the IV sale and so they have all of these fun totes now that they're handing out with your product in it. So the first thing I'm going for, I've actually had for a while and I bought it online at Sephora.com and I have been so tempted to break it open and use it but I've been trying to hold off so that I can talk about it on camera first. So this is a Light of the Party Collector's Makeup Case by Tarte. It's one of their holiday collection. You know that um, a lot of makeup brands come out with holiday product for um, Christmas and New Year's and all of that. So this is what it looks like. Every case is different. My sister actually, she's the one that works at Sephora. She actually got the same um, kit, but her pattern on the front of it is a little bit different so that's kind of fun every case is a little bit different it's very sturdy and then when you unzip it there are let me take out this 24 eyeshadows on the bottom and they are beautiful we have 
the warm browns, but then we also have some violets, purples, copper. This blush pink is gorgeous. This gold is gorgeous. It's called Baby It's Gold Outside. So you have 24 shadows. This Midnight Kiss, it looks kind of like a navy. Um, you get a sample of the Lights Camera Lashes. You get this dual ended brush, and then this at the top, oh, I don't wanna blind you. There's a mirror behind here. And then this at the top is like a to-go compact with six shadows, a highlight in pink champagne, social butterfly bronzer, and amazed blush. So this is a really good deal. I wanna say that it was $50, 50 to $60, and you can see how much value is in this. You have 24 shadows plus the six in here, making it 30 shadows, plus the highlight, plus the bronzer, plus the blush, and the mascara, and the brush. I mean, this is an amazing deal. And now that it's open and I'm talking about it on camera, I can actually use it, and I'm excited. So that is that from Tarte. Again, that was called the Light of the Party Kit. I'll have everything listed down below, just like I always do. Okay, so I actually went into Sephora to replace a few things, and on the way I found a couple more things. So one thing I've been wanting to try, I think I've told y'all before, dry shampoo is my best friend. I try to only wash my hair every other day, if not every three days, so that I'm not ruining the color and the highlight that I pay so much money for. And um, I was told that they came out with an Elizabeth and James Nirvana dry shampoo. So I have the little roller balls. I bought them as a set, the white and black Nirvana. And then they, have, they also have the dry shampoo and the white or black scent. It smells exactly like the perfume, which is awesome. The one thing I will say is that my normal dry shampoo is the, um, why am I totally blanking? The Batiste dry shampoo, and this works well as a dry shampoo, but not as good as Batiste. I'm on second day here now, and normally I can go crazy with dry shampoo, and it soaks up all of the oil, and I feel like I still have some oiliness today, but that might also be because Batiste is like $8, and this is 30, and so I don't go as crazy with this in my hair because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> It's also a smaller bottle, I think, but still, I love this stuff. Maybe if I used it in conjunction with Batiste so that I could have the scent, that would be the way to go. Not really sure, but I do like it. So that's that. I needed to restock on mascara, and I'm still using my favorite that I discovered in July. If you watched my um, Get Ready With Me back over the summer, I tried the Dior Addict It Lash that my sister got in... Um, as gratis and she got an um she got a duplicate so she gave me one and I am still in love with this mascara. It was time for a new one. It's been like five months since I got the other one. So it's time for a new one so I replaced that and I also needed to replace my eyebrow gel. I had just, um, I had been using one that I had gotten from a BoxyCharm and it just didn't seem to actually hold my eyebrows. I just kind of coated them instead of actually putting them in their place. I've always heard good, good things about the Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow gel, clear brow gel, so I just, I broke down and got some. It'll last me a while. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but I know it's not as cheap as getting it in your boxy germ. Another thing that I wanted to replace was my primer. I had gotten the Step One Skin Equalizer Primer, the smoothing one. It's in the dark gray tube. And I had a deluxe sample of it. I can't remember if I, I think I might have bought it as the deluxe sample because you know when you're shopping at Sephora and you go through the little aisles with all the travel size. I think I got it out of there. So it was much less expensive. I just wanted to try it. And I went back this time and I got the hydrating primer. In the fall and winter, I have pretty normal skin, but I'll get dry patches, so I wanted to be able to have something a little bit more hydrating. And so far, so good. I like this. It's a good um, primer, and although it is hydrating, it's not so thick that I don't feel like I can't go in with foundation right after I put it on. It's great. I've been using it a lot recently. 
I also needed to replace my Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I was going to buy the Sephora brand because I've heard it's just as good and you save a little bit. I think you save like $4, but still. Um, but they were out at my local Sephora, so I got the regular Beauty Blender Cleanser, the Solid. Um, but what's different this time is there's this little pink rubber butterfly thing in it, and it has, it's textured, it has these little bumps on it. And I assume it's for cleaning your sponge even better, but I haven't figured out how to use it. I don't know if I leave it in there and clean, or if I put the sponge in the solid and then this in the lid and then clean it that way. I haven't figured it out yet. I need to ask somebody. When I washed my Beauty Blitter the other day, I just used it like I used to. So I'll figure it out. And let's see. Oh, this I actually put away. So I bought, um, I love the Bite Beauty Dual Ended Lipsticks, and I bought this one in, um, it's Latte and Cortado. Let me get it out for you. Okay, so Latte is this really great nude color. And I was actually wearing it in my BoxyCharm unboxing video. It's just a really good nude for the fall and winter months. I feel like that's a theme right now. There it is again. Really pretty. Um, I think it'll look great on a ton of skin tones. And then Cortado is also more of a nude, but it has a tinge of mauve in it. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. Um, would be great for evening or if you just want to dress up a little bit for during the day. It's just a really pretty color. I tend to go for neutrals when I go for the lip duos because I feel like I'll just use them more often than anything else. Okay, last but not least, I waited to talk about this last because I feel like everybody's seen it by now and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it, but I saw it in the store and saw how many different ways I could use it and I said, okay. So this is the Becca Champagne Glow um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Palette. So if you haven't heard about this already, it has Jaclyn Hill's signature on it because they included Champagne Pop, the highlighter she came out with um, a few months ago in here. So the palette actually comes with three shades. It comes with this bronzy color, which is blush copper, the Champagne Pop, and then pearl. So. I was worried I would get it and only use Champagne Pop, which is stupid because I have the single right there. Um, but Jacqueline, one of my friends that works there, she's fairer than I am and she's able to use the blush copper as a blush and she'll even dab the pearl underneath her eyes, which made me really nervous because it's shimmery instead of a matte highlight. But that's what I'm wearing today. I only have, I have regular bronzer on. I have NARS bronzer Laguna on, but then on my cheeks is the blush copper, the champagne pop is the highlight, and I have just a little bit of pearl pressed underneath my eyes just to give a little bit more reflection when I'm in the light. So I am loving this so far. I've used it every day since I got it, and I don't think I'll be putting it down anytime soon. I also think it's really good for all seasons. I, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a summer palette, but now that I've used it in the in the fall, it really just kind of warms up your face. So that is it. I think that's enough damage for one video. If you like this kind of video, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. That was awful. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!